G'day everybody! Welcome back to the studio. We're going to be playing with something new for me. Um, I've actually uh, watched a lady on YouTube um, create this um, reverse flower dip. She uses some kitchen towels to do the, the to pull the paints up which is, uh, I, I thought it was really cool the way she did it. She, she does this with acrylic paints. If you can hear some clapping, that's um, that just my uh, roller doors being smashed by the wind outside. So if it continues like this and if it's too loud, I'll have to edit this and put um, an audio in there. But hopefully not because that takes time and uh, I'd like to get these this video out to you so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, actually putting some resin I already mixed my resin a few minutes ago and I've picked some colors and I'm only using two colors for each coaster so I'm only doing a coasters now because I've had them available sitting waiting to be done they already had resin poured over them ages ago so didn't like the design or anything so what I did was I just um, um, whoopsie just uh, spray painted over them to you know to give it a bit of a base so hopefully that spray paint won't react with my resin create some dimples I hope not so I'm putting more resin in one cup and less in the other cup so I'll show you in a second. If you if you haven't seen this lady's channel, go and watch her. She is she is adorable. Like I just love listening to her accent. I think she's Spanish or something like that. It's just uh, she's just adorable. Lovely, lovely lady. Um, she does acrylic pouring, but I just got an idea because the picture looked really pretty. You know when you go on YouTube, and I was actually looking at answering some of the questions from you guys and just uh, replying to some comments and then that that kind of uh, picture popped up and I thought oh that looks really cool I must have a look and I did and uh, I got inspired to to create something try it with resin I won't be using a paper towel because for obvious reasons it's too fluffy it's got all those little fibers that uh, will create uh, like dust and, and uh, unwanted uh, objects in in my finished piece so anyway I'm not prepared am I need some sticks two four six two more okay so combination of colors got some white just angel white I've got the red copper here it's a metallic, so I'm always giving it a bit of a mix. Just like that to pick up all of that pigment which may have moved to the bottom because I haven't used it in a long time. Uh, I've got, so those two together, it's got to be interesting. Um, I've got some uh, purple rain, a dark color, and I've got my steel blue. Once again, give it a stir and pick up that usually only needs a couple of little swirls haven't used this one you can see that the pigments all dried up on the sides because it is so old another thing is these pigments you know they're supposed to have a shelf life of one year well this one's over two years old and still good as new no problem at all sometimes if you get your pigments if you're buying the res um, and they look dried up some of them come solid just means that you know we've had some cold weather here and I don't know it gets pretty cold in the plane especially when they're going overseas uh, they might harden so just warm them up a little bit in warm water this is the uh, molten silver I haven't used in ages and some sassy red yes love that red I've got some molten gold the bottom of this jar here this is just an amazing amazing gold you don't need a lot of it and I've got some red 
uh, sorry ruby red here this is a really pretty color so I'll probably go if I if I used it with all these combinations would work sort of together the light ones and the dark ones you know should be good okay let's start mixing enough talking about 10 percent I just eyeball this try to make it as accurate as possible in it goes my white don't need a lot of it so about 10 percent is going in here uh, we'll move this out of the way now put it over here just so it's out of my way it was really difficult to level my oh that's probably too much hang on so I need the white's going to go over, sorry the purple is going to go underneath so I need more of that so that's going in the cup that's fuller and a little bit of this steel blue in there about 10 percent move you out of the way um i was saying uh it was pretty difficult for me to level the the actual um sorry thinking now this is going to go underneath so i need more of that in a bigger cup like that let me try that again um difficult to level my coasters and i think because they are just a little bit bumpy themselves already so and and also this plastic's got skins and things on there so i ended up leveling everything on top of this piece which i don't mind wrecking because i'm just gonna you know put some some resin over it anyway so here comes the gold don't need a lot of this stuff so i'm trying to scrape some off there and if i need some more I'll just you know put some more in there and this is going to be the base so and it's also a transparent so it's going to be quite interesting that's about 10 percent i think it's a bit less but let's see how it goes okay so i'm just going to mix them all up and i shall be back just want to show you while I'm mixing this beautiful molten silver. How cool is that? I love it. Just checking to see if that's enough. Yeah, that's plenty. I've actually put too much in there. You can comfortably put two to three percent, up to five percent in there, and uh, you'll still get that beautiful color. So that's that. I made a mistake. My purple rain turned out to be a black because the purple rain is such a dark pigment and the actual lid I put on the wrong see that so you can see a bit of purple there it's actually that's not even purple rain it just looks purple it's from another purple oh yeah it is a purple rain so that's on the lid and I put it on the in the on the wrong jar so I'm gonna have black and blue that one with the white I'll be back don't need to just the molten gold which is also a gorgeous pigment also can use very little of it don't need to use a lot for this one that's going to go over the top so I'm strategically placing things there and this gorgeous um, gorgeous ruby red which I absolutely love. So it's ruby red, and ruby is uh, more of a pink red. And mixed with this gold, it uh, should give me a really nice combination. So okay, since I've got this in my hand, I'll start with this one and cover the whole the whole area very kind of thinly. Don't want to have too much on there, so I'll just go around. A little bit and then smudge it with my fingers or oh, with a stick I'll just use my oh, bugger it. whatever whatever works for you sometimes I don't mind playing with a stick playing with a stick okay <laughs> oh dear 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 
Okay, so here we go. So you can see that pinky color coming up. And I'm going to let that sit a little bit. It will drip. Which is fine. And I, might, I think I'm going to make a, a bit of a mess here. That was that one. Gonna go. I just want them to sit a little bit, you know. That's why I'm doing it that way. Pouring a bit of this on there. And then make sure you clean your, your fingers each time. Now, I can already see that this is not going to be perfect because the substrate is not leveled properly. But because I am such an impatient person, and when I get this idea, I just got to get it done just to see how it works, and then I can do it properly again an another time. That one was going with this. No, hold on a second. See? Got all confused. You should just leave them there. So I know that one's going with the white. Sassy red, which is such a true red. A lot of people love it. And I'm sure I'll have a few people for that. It's, it's a real beautiful, opaque red which doesn't turn you know, pink on you when you pour it. See how that one's gone pink? You can compare the two. It's still a red, but it's just a different shade of red. You want true red, sassy red is the go. How did I manage to do that? Down there. God only knows. Right, so that's that one. And let's go with the, with the black. Now, I'll swap them so I don't get myself confused. A little bit of black on there. Midnight Black by Larez. And just spreading that out. It's fun doing this. Little project. I, um, I woke up early again this morning and straight away I start thinking up these ideas. I get the best ideas the first moment that I wake up. But then I end up doing seeing something, you know, on, uh, on YouTube or somewhere else and end up doing something else. Anywho, I'm going to add a little bit more of this, make it a bit thicker because this is quite transparent. And also, I don't mind having it uneven like that. Some parts more transparent, some not. And ideally, I'd want to leave this to sit a little bit and let it get a little bit more tacky. Now, once I pour those complementary colors that will all move, hopefully, but I will also pick some up with the plastic and hopefully not make a, a bugger of a mess we'll see so much fun doing this you know I figured out why my videos go for so long every time I think it's because I have so much fun and I play with it now I could have poured that and that would have been done in 30 seconds Blunk, 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 done. But I just want to go around and fiddle a little bit and mess about with it. Anyway. And giving it quite a bit of heat. Unfortunately, I'm hitting the canvas underneath there and that's heating up and that's also popping outwards which is not good so I'm just gonna let it sit just for a little second I was I was giving it a lot of heat because I want it to start the cooking there I want it to start the the chemical reaction and everything happening already just gonna add a little bit over here cover that bit there and I'm just gonna leave it for five minutes and I'll be back 
I came back, I decided to get rid of the, the, the lifter and just put it directly onto my plastic here, which is also not even, so, you know, but I, I just realized that I'm gonna make a big mess because they were too close together. And once I put the plastic over them, it'll mess it all up. So let's start with this one. Um, I'm gonna try and do it in a, in a nice sort of stream. I'll start with uh, actually do a little blob in the middle first. This is going to be very interesting. See, there's already too much there. And I, I don't want to have them too close together. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let's do this one. Same sort of thing. A little blob in the middle and just let it sit there. This gold is amazing. You know, and if it doesn't work out, and it's it's purely because of my um, uneven surface here. This is starting to heat up already. It's quite warm in the studio and I wanted it warm because I want things to start thicken up a bit. And I've got my blue with my black here. Just like that. Or maybe a bit more. Actually, leave it. Now I'm going to go back to my white and do a circle around it. Probably only have a couple of circles around. And uh, I'm going to try and pour it. This is going to be very interesting. It's going to be quick. Ah, see what I mean? Do another one around here. It's too thick. Ah! Little sounds that I make. Try using this stick. Although I don't think the stick is going to be much better. Okay, try it. No, definitely not better. Not to worry, we'll leave that one open like that. And I'm just going to do another one around here. First bit's the hardest. There you go, fast. Maybe I'll just continue back out here. Like that. Woo! Silver. There we go. First bit's the hardest. I just said that, didn't I? I'm just going to continue like that. So you went separately, separate rings. I think it's easier for me to just go around like that. Wow, that's pretty just like that, that gold and that um, ruby red. Oh, that one worked out well. Bit of practice <laughs> in the end. Right, let me get my plastic now. This is going to be the fun part here the plastic on just like that plastic is a little bit big but oh well got another one over here just whack it straight on it'll pull in now she dabbed her wow that is cool just like that oh my goodness she dabbed it um, I won't, I don't think I'll do that, maybe a little bit here. Wow, that's created like a real big dimple there, which also looks cool. So I've just got to remember the, which way I went. Oh no, bugger me, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. And one more. It's hard to see plastic on plastic. Well, that's my excuse. Now I'm just going to try and move this up a bit, if I can, just like that. Hmm. Hopefully when I pull it, it'll, it'll be good. 
Okay, so I'm giving it a little light dab. I suppose you can use a brush. Just like a, a, a soft brush of some kind. I've always got brushes here. This is not the softest one, but I reckon it'll work. Just to push it in a little bit. Especially this one here. I'm not even pressing. I'm just um, leaning. The weight of the brush is doing the job. Mm, that there. Interesting. Oh, and more. Oh, I know what that is. That is just the that spray paint underneath there. Doesn't like it. And I've got a bubble there. Try and push it out. Right, so this is the last one I popped on, is it? This one here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So then she collects them from this, the edges. Because this is not a real soft plastic. It's going to be interesting how it goes. Let's see. Pull that one up. Pull that side up. Pull this side up. And this side up and well <laughs> no that one did not work but I've got a really nice skin which I'm going to put over here and then the one before that one was this one wasn't it maybe I can just try and lift the whole thing up rather than pulling sides Actually, no, I'll do it. I'll do it, you know, the way it's meant to be done. I can only pull four corners when you're using the paper. You can pull more corners, and I think that creates a better picture. Oh, that one's nice. And another lovely skin right there. That one looks more like what I'm looking for. Now, let's see over here. I can go back and forth and try and fix that black one. This one's coming up like that. It's all about very fiddly. It's all about oh this one's nice. Not the same effect. Definitely not the same effect. Another lovely skin there. That is pretty. Okay, so that white is really opaque. Maybe that's the key. So let's see how we go with the gold. Oh, come on. Put that underneath. Got this corner here. It's so hard to see the see through thing. Oh, look at that. And I just do a little swirl in the bottom. Beautiful skin. Look at that really cool that's perfect oh i need to bust a couple of bubbles you can give them a heat oh my gosh that is really cool this is amazing have to fix up that red i'm just literally just going to put a drop in there and move it around like that that is not a flower, but it's something. It looks a little, yeah, I suppose, wow. And that red pulled in with the gold gives you a really beautiful violety color. It's amazing. Who would have thought, huh? Fiona's Art. Go check her out. She probably doesn't even know that I've given her a, sh a shout out. So just, uh, if you watch her artwork or a video or whatever, just, uh, Tell her I said hi <laughs> when I gave her a shout out. She really deserves it. And I'm just fiddling around. Trying not to disturb the pattern. I can actually probably even put some more gold in there. But I can go around and do that later. Some more. Cover that white yucky stuff. Wow, look at that. The molten silver. 
is absolutely loving it there with the red. And yes, add some more red around or silver, whatever, you know, rocks your boat. Just do that. I like this red. Red and yellow would be great as well. Especially because this red is pretty opaque and then the yellow is transparent. Use your transparency and opaques, use your colour smart in a smart way because you'll get effects with without having to use any any of that resi blast or anything like that. Now I'm not saying like resi blast I've never used it but I've seen people use it and I, I can see some really awesome things done with it but you have to be very very careful how you use it because it really blasts everything if you want detail it's a bit hard to use it right so gonna add a little bit more black on here I've got to fix this one I'm gonna put some more black on the edges like that Yeah, the problem was, and I knew this was going to happen, the, the, the spray paint is enamel, and I was going to just cover it with gesso. That would, would have been perfect, but no, I have to get on with it. Let's get on with it. So there's that. So we've got a little bit of that blue there. I will go around with the red. Uh, sorry, the could go with silver, but I will do the white and try to do the same thing without causing too much. See if I could get this in like that. See that thin line. Maybe that'll work now. Let's see. Could get another piece of plastic, which I have to cut now because I haven't got it ready. That's all right, no problem for me. It helps when you've got everything handy. There we go with my brush. Very lightly, don't want it all so that blue hopefully will stay there as well. And just brushing this actually probably would make a really pretty design just by doing this, but anyway, it's another video. Okay, let's do it now. Ooh. one and then twist it well that's not bad but that is not bad I like the middle part I'm gonna go again I reckon maybe I go with a bit of blue as well because I want that blue in there let's see what happens now more blue resin is just different than Acrylic. Look how thick that is. Whoa. Got to go back in the middle. More white. Real rough like now. So now let's see. And it's thick. Works better when it's thick. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Plastic. Let's go. See if I can get it right this time. Just got to make sure that that plastic is covering everything. I think it'll be much brighter now. All right, let's go. I have to hurry now because everything's getting really thick. I don't want to re waste my resin. All right, let's go. Okay, that's interesting. You're much better, I think. 
pop you down here. This is going to create some really awesome skins for me that I can use. What I'm going to do here is just going to go around with some of this gold as well. I absolutely love this gold. Just to cover those edges. Oops, just got some red on there now. This is real play, playtime art. Great for newbies, I think, this kind of um, thing. Put a little dot on there just to cover that white. Some more gold on the side here. And that's it. Okay. Right. That's it for this one. God, I keep going back to it, don't I? Now I'm going to leave it alone now. Just going to leave it alone. And I've got to do something with these. So another video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I will zoom in a little bit later and show you the, the close-up of everything. Yeah, so here they are. They're curing. I need to uh, sort of fix up the edges a little bit. I'll do that later. But look how pretty that is. This one is my favorite. I just love what it's done. That one turned out the best. The, the black and all that. I've got look like dimples yes they are definitely lots of dimples I'll have to fix that and here it is this is a sassy red it's actually a beautiful bright red and that gold which just looks amazing and look at the skins so they will dry up and then I'll create something with them as well okay